Um, so today we're here at the, uh, the old Kelvin Hall site. It's one of the oldest sites, uh, definitely the oldest site on the south coast. And um, I'm here to show, um, to show people different types of bush foods, medicine plants, and give them the Noongar names for them where, where possible. Chloe's found something. I know it's the native bluebell, but I can never remember it's Noongar name. That's okay, <laughs> and we call it Kamak. Most people look in the bush for the right ones, then they should be looking on the ground, shouldn't they? It does vary from uh, strawberry, raspberry, quince sort of a taste as well. It's a really nice food. It's this particular plant, it's known as the kangaroo paw. The Noongar name for this one down here is uh, Yonga Ma. Yonga is male kangaroo and Ma is hand, uh, or in this case paw. It's a food source and it's also the medicine, but I think the uh, medicine comes from the tubers that we find in the bottom part. A bit like eating a, a rich potato. So we go and show them one of their medicine trees. Marries its, its Noongar name as well. We sort of crush it up into a bit of a powder, don't we? And then we take about the size of your thumbnail is about all you need. It's good for upset stomachs or your uh, your cobberly, your uh, stomach, uh, your purrux, it's your intestine. It's a very strong antiseptic. You can drink it. You can use it for open wounds, stop infections, skin conditions. So this one's the Australian bracken fern, obviously. We call it uh, Mundon. Most people will think of it as a, a weed. And in one way it is because it's fairly toxic, but for us it's the stingos. So it takes away any pain or anything associated with bull ant bites, wasps, spider bites. So what we do is we get those little tips there, break a few off, and we'll crush them up and we'll put it straight onto that bite. So look at all these orchids. Uh, we've got a few different types that we eat. We're very good with these. We don't kill the plant at all. We just dig it up. We'll take off a couple of tubers and we'll put it back in the ground again and it'll regrow. It's sustainability at its best. So we've got a few different names for some of these ones. Dewback is a general name. They each have individual names, but as a, just a classification um, is Dewback. These are the Menang or the Mirin. This one's like a little sacred plant really for us. Obviously we were named after this plant. Menang people or Menango were eaters of this blood root. The blood root obviously is a good name for it. It's a food and a medicine, isn't it? It's a spice, because if we have it just raw, it really numbs your mouth. It can be quite hot and it normally takes a couple of seconds to kick in. And then for the next couple of hours, your mouth is tingling. It's really good for curing toothaches. Peppermint, uh, wainer. A lot of our women's digging sticks are called wana, and they're generally made from this particular tree. So it's a tall tree, but it's also medicine. A lot of our trees, they've got that eucalypt in them, and they're really good for headaches and congested uh, nasal. Just crush it up, and you can hold it to your nose for five minutes. Carbine. It's a type of uh, sword sedge. There's little seeds in here. Those seeds are edible, as are. We can gather a heap of this, grind it all down, make a type of damper, okay? 